This presentation is an overview for attorneys who are going to begin filing electronically at the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court. Electronic filing for civil cases in the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court will be available soon. Announcements through the Bar Bulletin will be forthcoming. The focus of this presentation is to provide guidance specifically for Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court submittals. It will include file and serve firm account setup essentials for those who have not used file and serve before, initiating a new case in file and serve at the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court, document restrictions, filing fees, subsequent filing into existing cases, and helpful resources. If you have never used file and serve before, we recommend watching a more complete Tyler Technologies WebEx for additional detail on all the facets of the software application. This presentation and all resource materials and video links are available on the court's e-filing webpage at nmcourts.gov slash efiling.aspx. This webpage has information for all court locations and provides specific instructions where procedures at certain courts might be different. Are you already a file and serve user? If so, you will continue to log in using your existing file and serve account for Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court cases. Are you new to file and serve? After watching this video, visit the e-filing webpage on the court's website and follow the instructions in the Getting Started in File and Serve section. First, attorneys should make sure they have their CAID number from the Supreme Court's office. And if your whole office is new to file and serve, have your office's firm administrator create a firm account. Or, if you're a sole practitioner, you can register on your own from the home page of File and Serve. Then take the Tyler WebEx training to become more familiar with the software application. Watch this online video again for Metropolitan Court specific information, and remember to use Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge for the best web performance. File and Serve will not work on Safari or lower versions of Internet Explorer web browsers. You might wonder what a firm account is. Every user of File and Serve belongs to what is called a File and Serve firm account, and every firm account needs to have a firm administrator to set it up and maintain it. So who should register for the firm account? A designated person from a law firm or agency who has been assigned the role of firm administrator by their firm or agency, or the sole practitioner of a law firm. There is a separate video for firm administrators to help them set up the firm account, and it's posted on the court's e-filing webpage. It is very important for the firm administrator co to complete all of their steps before attorneys can take action. Once you, the attorney, have your file and serve account, you can log into the application. Do you need to apply for free process? If so, first send the free process application and supporting documentation to the proposed text email. There is a separate instructional video for proposed text and free process steps also on the court's e-filing webpage. We will now step through the process of filing an initial filing through File and Serve at the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court. The URL for File and Serve is newmexico.tylerhost.net slash OFSweb. And the landing page for File and Serve has three sections to it. The Court Information section will have important notices about downtime, updates, or court announcements specific to e-filing. The Self-Help section provides the Tyler Technologies training, help, and contact information. The Actions section is where your court admin will register for the firm account and users will sign in with their user account. After logging into File and Serve, the filing attorney can initiate a new case. In the next several slides, we'll review the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court specific selections. Upon login, the user will see their dashboard, which has two sections. The My Filing Activities section, which is a set of folders where all of your activities are stored and tracked and the new filing section, which is where you'll either initiate a new case or file subsequently into an existing case. Right now, we're going to start a new case and walk through those steps. The overall design appears like a long scroll where you need to complete and save one section at a time in order for the next section below it to become activated. 
These slides will just show one section at a time. In the Case Information section at the top, you'll find Location, Category, and Case Type. From the Location drop-down menu, select Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court. Then select the Category of Civil, which will be the only option for now. Then select one of the four case types from the drop-down menu, which are filtered specifically for the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court. Click Save Changes to activate the next section below. In the Party Information section, the default party types for the case type you selected are displayed at the top, and you'll highlight one, enter the information, and save. Then highlight the next party type, enter the information, and save. When entering the party information, the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court is requesting that as much information as you have about the party be entered at this stage. Further down in the party section of the party you are representing, you'll enter the lead attorney. If the attorney's name does not appear in the drop-down list, you'll need to speak to your firm's administrator to make sure the attorney gets added. Each party needs to be saved by clicking Save Changes before adding another party. After entering the required parties, if there is another party you need to add, use Add Another Party. Next is the Filing section, which has a number of fields we will address. The filing type will default to eFile, as it is the only option for initial filings. The filing codes listed in the drop-down menu will be filtered for the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court and will only display codes that can be used when starting a new case. The open complaint will be the event code used in this example for opening the case. The courts require a descriptive entry in the description field, which displays on the case record and provides clarity to the court. For example, if multiple motions are filed using the motion filing code, it is the description here that identifies exactly what the motion is for. Please note, File and Serve does not like punctuation in this field, and the description cannot be more than 100 characters. The Client Reference Number field is a required field in the software application and will not allow you to continue if the field is blank. Text entered here is not used internally by the court, so it can be something like the attorney's initials or an account entry that is relevant only to the attorney's firm. Text entered into the comments to the court field can be a brief informational statement, and these do not carry over into the case record. The courtesy copy and preliminary copy fields are for the filer only. Unlike the service contacts, these do not get logged or tracked by the file and serve system, so there is no audit trail to determine if the recipient received or opened the notice. If formal copies are required, we recommend adding the person as a service contact instead. The Filing on Behalf of field requires that you insert your cursor in order to select the party you are submitting this filing on behalf of. Next is the Documents and Attachments section. The Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court is requiring that all documents be added as lead documents and to not use the Attachments section. Lead documents are docketed in the case and are considered part of the court record. By clicking on the arrow icon, you can select a PDF to upload from your computer. The first lead document is a single PDF that contains the pleading and supporting documents combined. Note, the filing size is displayed next to the file name. You'll see the file description is automatically populated using the file's name as the description. However, the description field has a max character limit of 100 and does not like punctuation like commas, colons, or exclamation points. So you can edit and shorten the description here. The security setting is defaulted to eFile document. Once you click Save Changes, that document becomes linked to the Open Complaint Filing Code and the Add Another Filing button becomes available. The second filing within the same envelope will be the summons with the blank answer form, also in PDF, PDF format, using the summons issued filing code. Each additional filing that gets added will display in a stack at the top of the filing section. Click Save Changes when you're done with the filing section. Before we go on, let's talk about document restrictions for a moment. File and Serve will accept PDF files only. Each file should be 25 megabytes or less and only 35 megabytes for the whole envelope. They should be scanned at a setting no greater than 300 dpi 
at Portrait Orientation, as landscape pages will cause a filing error. Page size is 8.5 by 11, and they should have no embedded fonts or hi active hyperlinks. The safest way to achieve all this is by scanning rather than by using a PDF creator. Back in the envelope, the next section is for service contacts. You will see at this point all of the parties on the case are displaying, but there are no service contacts yet. Although this is a good housekeeping step for all attorneys, it is particularly important for attorneys filing landlord-tenant cases, so the court can e-file the summons with hearing information back to you. For the party you are representing, use the Actions drop-down menu to select Add from Firm Service Contacts. This will display all of the service contacts set up for your firm. Mark the checkbox by your name and any other person within your firm you want e-filing notifications to be sent to, and click Close. Now you will see your name displayed beneath the party you are representing. The next section is for fees. In the Fees section, all Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court cases have a $77 court filing fee that is displayed on the right. Additionally, there's an electronic filing fee and, if included in the envelope, any associated jury fees. Use the drop-down list to select the payment account to process the fee payment. And if you have a signed motion and order for free process included in the filing, you can select the waiver account from the payment account, which will zero out the filing fees. Select the party responsible for the fees from the drop-down list of parties. Then select the filing attorney from the drop-down list of firm attorneys. By clicking the Save Changes button, it will save the entire envelope as a draft and the Summary button will become available. The data entry for an initial filing is now complete and the Summary button has been activated. You can now save as a draft to come back later or click the Summary button in order to perform a final review of the envelope. After reviewing the summary of the envelope, the Submit button is activated. When you click the Submit button, an envelope number confirmation message will briefly display in the upper right corner. The submitted envelope is now in the Pending folder in your File and Serve account, and you will receive a filing submitted notice in your email inbox. Click into the Pending folder where you can see the various stages that the envelope goes through. Until your envelope gets reviewed, the status will be Submitted or Submitting, and you will see an X to the right that allows you to cancel or delete the filing. But once the court has opened the envelope, the status will change to Under Review, and the X Cancel option will go away. Once the court takes action by accepting or rejecting your filing, the status will change to Accepted or Returned and it will be moved out of your pending folder and into the appropriate accepted or returned folder. Upon review, the court will accept or reject the filing. If accepted, a number of things happen simultaneously. Notices are sent to the filer. For initial filings, a filing accepted notice for the complaint petition and a filing receipted notice for the summons document will both be sent. A case record and case number are created, the filing fee transaction is submitted to the bank, and case information is transmitted to the secured Odyssey Public Access site, Case Lookup and Research NM. So what might cause the court to reject an envelope? The file and serve system may not allow them to accept a filing for technological reasons, and the court might be forced to reject it. In those situations, it's usually because the PDF document is in the wrong format. It contained embedded images or color or landscape orientation. If rejected, the rejection reason and comments in the filing returned notices should provide enough information to assist the filer in correcting the problem. Once a filing has been rejected, the same envelope can be copied once and reused to submit a corrected filing. This completes the initial filing section. Next, we will cover subsequent filings into existing cases. Subsequent civil e-filings to the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court are much like the initial filings. 
but you'll need to know the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court case number in order to do this. From the dashboard, use the File into Existing Case button, which I believe should be named Search for Existing Case because you are taken to a search screen. On the search screen, enter the Bernalillo County Metro case number in the field, and you'll notice you don't need to include dashes or leading zeros here. Then click Search. If the case is available to file into, it will display in the results and minimal information about the case will be displayed. Use the Actions drop-down arrow to the right to select File into Case. A new envelope will open and will display the case information and parties at the top, with the first section available for data entry being the Filing section. In the Filing section, there are three options for the filing type during subsequent filings. They are e-file, serve, or e-file and serve. Be sure to select e-file and serve to make sure everyone is notified. The available list of filing codes has more options, still filtered for the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court subsequent filings only. Start typing or scroll down to select one. You will fill in all the other fields and attach lead documents in the same manner as initial filings. As you scroll down, the Service Contact section will display and will prompt you to add anyone within the filing attorney's firm who needs to receive notification throughout the life of the case. The opposing counsel, once they have been provided with the case number, will need to add themselves as a service contact to the case. Do not add service contacts for the opposing parties, only for the party you are representing and only from your firm's service contact list. The firm that adds the service contact is the one responsible for maintaining that record, should, for example, the email address change. So you only want to maintain records for people within your firm. Next to the party you're representing, use the Actions drop-downs to select Add from Firm Service Contacts. This will display a list of possible service contacts from your firm. If there are more than 10, they will roll over onto subsequent pages. You will checkmark everyone from your firm who needs to be notified on this case. And now, each name you have checkmarked will display underneath the party being represented. It is always a good idea to confirm that you have been added as a service contact on the case during subsequent filing. You may also want to consider creating a generic email address for receiving notices on cases in which a specific attorney from your firm has not yet been assigned. This way, your firm will be notified when actions are taken on the case. For subsequent filings, the system will automatically assess the appropriate fees to the envelope. Use the drop-down list to select the payment account to process the fee payment. If you have a signed motion and order for free process included in the filing, you can select the waiver account from the payment account drop-down menu and the fees will zero out. Select the party responsible for the fees from the drop-down list of parties. Then select the filing attorney from the drop-down list of firm attorneys. Clicking the Save Changes button will save the entire envelope as a draft and the Summary button will become active, allowing you to review the completed envelope before clicking the Submit button. Again, once you click the Submit button, a filing submitted notice will be generated and sent to your email inbox. Once the envelope has been accepted by the court, you can confirm eService was successful by going into the Accepted Filings folder. For the envelope you're interested in, use the drop-down to select View Envelope Details. Then select the View Receipt button at the bottom of the display. And scroll down to the eService Details section. On filings with a filing type of eFile and Serve or Serve, all service contact names and affiliations are displayed, as well as the status of the service, whether they were successfully e-served, and the date they opened their email to view it. In this example, the notice was successfully sent and served for two, but there was an error on the third, so service was not received. The first service contact opened their email, so the date and time is displayed, but the second and third did not. As soon as the second service contact opens the email notice, the date and time will display here. This is a way to verify or troubleshoot when a party complains that they have not been included in activities on the case. Either the filer forgot to select e-file and serve, 
the transmission did not go through, their email address has changed, they were unselected as a service contact, or they overlooked the email sitting in their inbox. In preparation for the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court rollout of civil e-filing, attorneys and their firm administrators have two housekeeping items to perform as soon as possible. Starting now, the firm administrator needs to complete the firm account setup for the firm. And once e-filing becomes available, attorneys need to start adding themselves as service contacts on their active Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court cases. If you're an attorney with a heavy caseload, your firm administrator can assist you in this step. The instructional videos for these two tasks can be found at the nmcourts.gov slash efiling.aspx webpage. Tyler Technologies is the filer's resource for all file and serve questions related to the file and serve software application, registration, and training. They can be reached by phone, email, or chat. Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court case-specific questions can be answered by contacting the court at their phone 505-841-8151. And again, all instructional videos and other information can be found on the nmcourts.gov slash efiling.aspx webpage.